Hello, I'm JSD, and welcome to Jasper's World. This was my survival world, solo survival world, in the past year. And I'm going to be putting it on YouTube, so I'm going to do a world tour so everyone's basically caught up with this. And yeah, this is the main island I spawn on, and I just made it my home, and yeah. This was the first shack I ever built, uh, n like barely remodeled. And yeah, just a few basic resources. Over time, people started joining my world and started making rooms. This is my ex's room. This is, yeah, another room, you can tell. And auto smelter. Here is an enchanting room I don't really use. And this is a storage system that, yeah, I always use. These are my, uh, my, my best friend's rooms, and I actually have a duping system here, because I dupe now. It's just better and easier for stuff. And the final room is one of my other friend's rooms, and now there's just a slime and hostage there, so yeah, it's about the rooms. This is my mining area. And you can tell there's a lot of torches. I do that because, yeah, you see why slimes. I think slimes can spawn in any light level, and I don't want slimes because I want maximum efficiency for my mob farm that's actually working. It's really decent, and yeah. I'm going to go up this water stream I forgot why I built. Epic fail. I don't know why I built it. Maybe for a beacon, maybe for easy access, I don't know. But if any of my friends know, then please tell me. That would be a big help. Ooh, lag. Okay, what else? This is my carrot farm. There used to be a villager in that cobblestone area. This is, yeah, that's the mob farm with an elytra takeoff and landing zone. Polar bear, don't know why. This is my best friend's fishing, you know, like, area where he can fish. Turtles, I keep some railway that is not finished. Possibly I'll finish when I post this on YouTube. Um, Cactus farm. This area was going to be for my new storage system with automatic hoppers and stuff like that, but never got to it. This is a bridge to one of other islands. Yeah, I saw in the distance, so I built that. Those are chunk boundaries over there in the glass. Llama. I placed lava here, so there's stone everywhere. Dirt, because I wanted to expand the island for tree farming. This um, end stone for coarse fruit. Um, nether wart for nether wart. And yeah, it's about it's practically about this island. Now some of the neighbor islands. Ooh, lag spike. Now some of the neighboring islands, I have this bridge, and yeah, that goes to this island. This was actually just that sand piece, then all the cobblestone was added. This is a failed mob farm. It just doesn't work or do anything. This is going to be an automatic ch cooked chicken, because um, before I used to dupe, I needed stuff, so this was yeah going to be for that. Hmm. Here is a mini storage system for Mesa exclusive blocks. So yeah, like sand, terracotta, all terracotta, well, natural terracotta types. Here are my lovely villagers, Santa and Squidward. Squidward trades. Mending for 38, mending for 18, and feather falling for 5. Pretty decent, actually. He's amazing. <laughs> and Sansa, we have Breaking 3 for 23, 28 for Fire Aspect, and how much is that? 29 for Fire Aspect 2. Eh, not so much. Squidward's the best. And this is my one tick sugarcane farm. Before I duped, I had to get stuff, so this was the only other way to get stuff. Ooh, this place over here. I don't know what to do with this place. If you, if any of you guys have any suggestions, then 
please let me know because I actually want this area to be useful in a way. So we're back on this island, going to my two other areas. So the first area is actually this way. So first I'm going to show is my mob farm. Or not mob farm, my XP grinder thing. And it's actually the closest dungeon I have. Yeah, let's go for a couple hundred blocks away. It's zombie, so it's not, you know, the most XP, but yeah, it's quite a bit. And yeah, I'm, just, I'm getting stuff, and yeah. So recently I got Optifine, which is supposed to help your gameplay, and I don't really know if it actually did uh, you can see my frames in the upper right hand corner so they mostly stay at 60 but dip down here and then here and th yeah there and yeah I don't think it does much and the worst part is I don't know how to remove it so if anyone can figure out how to or that really have it because don't get it just just don't get it is if you have it and yeah just yeah just let me know this is my other area built 100% by me because if you know me I can't build I'm just a redstone guy and yeah um, I don't really recall why I built this but probably cuz I was bored and needed to do something I think this is like a movie theater room and ooh, stews and soups why can't I see item frames? Yeah, that's another bad thing about Optifine. I can't see item frames. Don't know why. It's a bit weird. Okay, onward to the next area that I'm working on. Oh, all the ice here has been cleared. Because before, yeah, before I was duping, I just cleared everything out with ice. So I could have an ice road. I wanted a blue rice road, so following the bridge. Yeah, this was just a uh, three islands. Don't really use them for much. And there's the ocean monument. I'm like around fifty percent done with clearing this thing, so. But I'll do a video on me finishing it up. But I won't really show much because I don't really have much to talk about, at least of right now. If I was more into like politics or something, then of course. But yeah, I'm just clearing stuff out like uh yeah. Okay. This nether portal um is a broken one, so it links to one of my other portals. Press open chat to open yeah. chat. And only if you want, I can spawn proof this area. Only if you guys want, because I don't really care. This is a really ugly tunnel to a, um, what's it called? Nether Fortress. And I should remove it eventually, but yeah. So back in the portal. Press open chat to open chat. So, I have not defeated the Ender Dragon yet, even though I do have Elytra. I have- I had three Ender Dragons, so I had nothing to- I did not- nothing I could really do. So, yeah, I was basically screwed, and... Yeah, I couldn't do anything about it. And the Wither, I couldn't find any proper way to beat it. I'm not saying, like, yeah, but there's just no- way that I could actually think of. The weather is just way harder in Bedrock Edition that I can't find any solution to. So, oh, I killed it. So if you like this video, just subscribe and like if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. And next video will be probably on probably the history. I made a couple copies of this world just for like I don't remember really why, but probably just to like search and stuff like that and use commands. It's not cheating. 
But yeah. Um, I'm JSD and goodbye.